always dreaming about you. How you got me? Hi everyone, Petalus Bless here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys part three of my Mother Day centerpiece ideas for you guys. So let me show you what I have for today. Okay, I have these vases that I got. I got these from Dollar Tree. I got this one from Dollarama. And as you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than the Dollar Tree one. And I have my bling gems. And I found these ones in um, my Dollarama, which I was really surprised to find them there. And um, I think they're really nice. But you can also get them on Amazon. So I seen them on Amazon. It's a bigger one, bigger bulk. I'm going to... Um, See if I can find the link and leave it in the description bar for you guys so you could check it out. But in my dollar round, we have the 1.8 meter one, which is nice for $2. And I like it. It's very nice. And they have it in the rustic gold also. It looks pinkish, but it's a rustic gold color. And this one is silver. Okay, I got these flowers in Dollar Tree. And these gold color, these roses, the yellow roses, I got in Dollarama. And we need our shears, our glue gun. So let's get started. All right, everyone, we're gonna start by gluing our rhinestones all the way around the vase. And I'm doing the large and small pattern all the way around. And here's the finished look. And now we're going to glue our bling wrap all the way around. With this um, bling wrap, as you can see, when I was gluing it all the way around, because it's a square vase and not a round one, it does not even up when you reach back to the other side. So I'm going to show you what I had to do. So what I had to do was cut um, the bling wrap even shorter and just go from one side to the other. As you can see, I'm doing here. So we have a space open on the last side of the vase. And then we just cut a short piece and fill that in there. That way the wrap lays down flat all around the container. All around the vase, sorry. And now we're going to do our flower arrangements. So we're just going to cut the flowers and place them in the ball. And here's our Mother's Day centerpiece number three. I call this one our cute and glamorous Mother's Day centerpiece. It's a little bit more blingy for those of you who want something more nicer. Instead of simple, you want something a little bit elegant, but not too much. So this is very nice. And I love how this bling wrap looks around the little candle holders. All right, everyone, I hope I've inspired you again with this Mother's Day centerpiece. And thank you so much for coming on to see part three of my series. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. Bye-bye, everyone.
me want you. 